YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, coming at you today with a theory video based around the upcoming anniversary special, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, once and always. And a theory surrounding, well, more like multiple theories and speculation about where Robo Rita is going to come from. Based on initial reactions by myself and others that she reminds us of King Mondo, I saw a couple other, like, errant comments out there, and I wanted to discuss some possibilities. I'm not going to discuss every possibility, basically just three possibilities, uh, with the ending one being, like, the least exciting option and the one I was thinking was most likely before the speculation started. But let's start right off the bat. I mean, like I said, she looks kind of like King Mondo. Is she King Mondo? Are we just going to reveal her face? She's going to be like, I'm actually King Mondo, and open her face like the reverse flash thing. Probably not. But it's possible they could involve the Machine Empire somehow. I think it would be kind of, you know, repetitive, even though it was like decades ago, but to have the Machine Empire be behind it all and create Rita and they're the masterminds. But I think some sort of involvement could be cool. Like I said in the video talking about the poster, I like the idea of weaving together multiple mythologies and taking advantage of multiple series. So like, I like the idea of, you know, maybe whoever would be behind it had to find somebody that was within the Machine Empire or use Machine Empire resources to create Rita. I think that would be kind of cool. Like, I just don't want to see the Machine Empire be the ones behind it because it would feel too similar to Forever Reds. But the idea that we could maybe use assets from them, like maybe you find, you know, I mean, they're, they're gone already, the Machine Empire, but I'm sure there's remnants, like, you know, Machine Empire remnant shenanigans. Find a remnant of the Machine Empire to help them. Now, that leads me a little bit into option two, is somehow Lord Zed is involved and maybe created her. Um, I saw a couple people point out that maybe he has Scrozzle help build her. I think it could be cool if maybe he, you know, has Scrozzle, like, as an asset, and then Scrozzle is like, oh, I got connections here in this dimension, and he knows some people from the Machine Empire. That could be kind of cool. That's like a cool, you know, anniversary-connected type of idea of Scrozzle from Beast Morphers contacts members of the Machine Empire to build uh, this robot. Or maybe he uses some Vengex assets. I don't know. But I don't I think it's just because Scrozzle is a robot. I mean, assuming that Scrozzle helps him build Robo Rita is pretty racist, if we're being honest. Aruto would probably be mad at you and try to prove that robots are better at people than their jobs, which doesn't seem like a good idea. Anyway, this isn't about Zero One. Scrozzle doesn't even necessarily have to be involved. My whole thing with Lord Zed is... It, seemed, it would seem weird to me if he wasn't involved or at least mentioned in this special. Again, if he wasn't in the current series, Dino Fury, Cosmic Fury, and we were just doing Robo Rita, it would seem really clear to me that we're just focusing on the OG villain. There was going to be no Lord Zed involved. I wouldn't give it a second thought. But it's the fact that he's been brought back. So, like, you have a version of Zed existing out there, and then you're bringing back the MMPR cast for this anniversary special. It would just seem weird if you didn't do something. And to be honest, if he's not in it or mentioned at all, I'm not even going to be mad a little bit. It's just, like, so coincidental. It's like you have this major asset of MMPR over here, and the idea that you would do nothing with it would just seem weird to me logically. Again, I'm not going to be mad at all if they don't. I'm just saying it's out there, the fact that he's well out there. It does create some interesting logistical things because we don't know, like, what the timeline's like. You know, what did Barry do to it this week? We don't know, like, when this takes place in relation to the finale of Cosmic Fury, Dino Fury. I think it would be cool if Zed built her, if they tied it into Cosmic Fury. I know some people have some mixed thoughts about tying it to Cosmic Fury. Not in a way that makes this feel like a part one, you know, set up for the special or make you feel lost or like you need to watch the special, but in a way that this is still self-contained, but has a fun little teaser that if you happen to want to check it out, maybe even like a post credit -y thing, I don't think that's harmful, especially since I think there's going to be a lot more eyeballs on this special than the regular show. It's an opportunity to maybe get some new fans or some old fans back on board to be like, oh, there's going to be more MMPR stuff in Cosmic Fury because it's basically been confirmed at this point that Billy's going to be in it. So you could do something where you set up either a mystery that like who created this Robo Rita or maybe the audience knows that Zed did it, but, like, the characters don't know. And then at the end of the special, you know, everyone's happy, kumbaya, you know, you do the high-five, executive producer, Haim Saban, Chuki Levy, it's all happy. But then there's, like, a teaser at the end where Billy's like, well, somebody sent this robot Rita, and I'm gonna find out who. You know, it almost sounded like for some interviews that they're gonna leave it open for, like, Min's character to have further adventures. And so, to me, again, I don't know what's going to happen with that. And this isn't speculation about Min. But what I'm saying with that is it could feel like one of those finales. I'm sure you've seen it, whether it's a show or a movie. Sometimes there's an ending where it feels like a definitive ending, but the door is open for more adventures, but not in a way that it necessarily feels like, for sure there's a sequel, or I'm going to lose my mind if there's not a sequel. It's just kind of like 
hey, there's gonna be more adventures out there, maybe. And, like, that could be a cool way to end it, is, like, somebody sent that robot Rita, you know, but then those that just want to enjoy MMPR nostalgia can just stop watching. But, hey, if you're interested, Billy's gonna go investigate who sent Robo Rita, find out it's Zed, that's the connection to Cosmic Fury. I think if it's done right, it could be smart, you know, noise and smart. Like, I don't know, I just... I understand people, like, not wanting it to get mixed in, and from what it sounds like, I don't think Cosmic Fury is going to be very deeply involved, but I think that if they did a little teaser that would maybe inspire a few fans that are coming back to watch this, to watch Cosmic Fury, and take advantage of Zed being there and have him be behind Robo Rita, that could be kind of cool. And I like the idea of Zed maybe wanting to create, like, a henchman-type character, like Robo Rita, to do his bidding on Earth while he's doing whatever in space. You know, I don't know. I'm not saying it's going to happen. That's just some speculation. Now for the last theory is what originally I thought was going to happen, um, which is like the most boring and basic one that doesn't involve tying in anybody from, from Zeo or from Zed or anything with a Z, is uh, it's just a contingency plan by Rita. That's honestly just what it sounded like for me based on a couple of interviews and, and synopsises. Just again, not like that it necessarily said anything directly, but just my inference as a me, that uh, not like a me like the Pokemon a me, what am I saying? Anyway, what, no, what really, what was I saying? Uh, the contingency plan, that like Rita made some sort of, you know, contingency plan of like this robot Rita that would awaken to an actor plan if something happens to her or she's, you know, dead. I guess either that happens, but I mean, I was thinking like she's kidnapped. Maybe she thought she was going to get turned good. I don't know. Basically, anything happens to Rita. She stubs her toe. She forgets her bags at the grocery. Robo Rita activates. Just is a contingency plan uh, that enacts whatever she wanted to do. Uh, and I kind of imagined it was something that was just kind of dormant and gets accidentally awakened, you know. And I could totally see them doing a pseudo-homage to Day of the Dumpster where somebody, like wherever the contingency plan is, maybe even on the moon, maybe there's a bunch of idiots back on the moon that accidentally activate her contingency plan. Like maybe it didn't activate, like something happened, like a glitch, but then these idiots on the moon reactivate the contingency plan. Or maybe it's on Earth and like basically just regardless of whether it's on the moon or on Earth, somebody accidentally activates her contingency. I say contingency way too many times. Do not take a drink every time I say it. It's almost as many times as I said personality in my uh, King Oju review. Someone accidentally activates Robot Rita, and I think that could be possible. Again, that was my most grounded idea, just like that it's not like a huge explanation or super tight in anything. It's just like, whoop, we accidentally activated her backup plan. Uh, that's what I think would maybe be likely. And I kind of like that idea. It kind of adds to the lore a little bit, and it almost feels like her version of Zordon's backup plan of Gosei that we need a backstory on that, man. I don't think the show's going to get to it, but the comics could do it. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I think that I'd be fine with the backup plan. Now I'm saying backup plan too much. With that idea, or I'd be fine with the Zed idea. Just because, again, he's out there. I think it would be cool to tie that in and maybe give people a reason to tune into Cosmic Fury. If it's done right, you know, I'm personally not concerned with with uh, Once a Ranger, Once a Ranger, with the Once and Always feeling like a setup for Cosmic Fury. But I think that, you know, a little bit of connection couldn't hurt anybody. Well, I mean, I suppose some kinds of connections. Anyway, what do you guys think? What are your theories on Robo Rita coming back? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.